Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to design this login page and how to design this dashboard. Let me just log in first. So my user ID and password is student and password is also student. Okay, so let me just log in. And when I log in, these are the functions which are providing. Okay, so I will show you how to design this in this lecture. Okay, so let's start with this. First thing, we need to actually create a new project. For that, I'm just creating a new project. Okay. It will take a bit time. After that, go to File, New Project. And I'm going to create college college video you can name as per your requirement okay here we have the now form now so first thing what we need is let me just show you here when I start the project here you can see this first a background image is here just observe this stuff on the display so we have an image in the background and after that this is a panel here we have the panel on these are the controls and these are the levels on which i have written these okay so we need one picture one panel these username text boxes it's actually a gif i will provide you the link of this gif and here we have one button so let me design this first so let's start with this so here we have now so first thing we need to set the image in the background of this form so just go to properties of the form and after that search for background image here you can see this the background image go to local resources click on import and it will move you to the directory I have just Save the images and icon, and here you can see this college management system. This college management system here, you can see this. This is a image which we have used in that. And here you have to change this background image layout to stretch. Okay. So here you can see this. When I start this, the image is small. I want this to be open into the full screen. So how to do that? Just go to properties, right click and go to properties and here you have to search for windows state. In windows state you have to just click on this and search maximized. When you save it, when you start this, you will find that now the windows is full screen. Okay, so now we have the full screen with the image. Now we need one panel with the three labels written college management system. So let me just drag first label. Go to toolbox, there you will find the label. Just drag and drop it here. Just copy and paste to replicate. Okay, just set text here. Just close this. And here you can see this is the text. Go to properties, and there you will find text in this. You have to write college and the second one. We need to write management and in the third one you have to write system okay now we need that the font of these labels needs to be large okay so select three all three labels and after that go to search for font here you see this is the font just click on that three through dots and after that search a particular font whatever you need okay let me just select one I'm selecting this and let me just increase the size to 36 I need bold so you can see this now we have it here okay so let me just put it in the right position you can put it anywhere you want okay after that I need a panel on which the controls will be there here you can see this drag and drop this and make it 
large so that we can put few stuff here. So let me just start it and let's see what happens. So you can see this the college memory system is quite upward. So you have to move this downward and this to this location or approx to the center. So how to do that? Just select all three and move downward. Don't worry about that, that's on the right position. Just start it and you will see that now college management system here. We need to just move this a bit a little bit down. So just drag and drop this one here. Just start this and now it's on the right position. So now we have to add few controls on this. So we need to add actually level. So search for level in the toolbox and just copy and paste one more time. And after that we need two text boxes. Okay, we just drag and drop it. Just copy and paste it to replicate and I need one button. Just drag and drop it here. Now we need to change the name of this button, go to properties and let me just set the text first that is login and hit enter. After that we need to change the name of this to user name. After that this label just go to properties and search for text and in this one password and here you can see this in this it's quite looking good okay so how what is this actually this is a GIF and I have set it into the picture box so we need a picture box now so let me just drag and drop this picture box here you can see this now just drag and drop it here okay let me just move this a little bit down here we have this picture box in this picture box let me just set the image the GIF just click on this and choose image click on local resources click on import and login is on the desktop actually login new here you can see this now so this, this is the login GIF so click on ok and select the stretch mode stretch image okay so let's just start this and you will see the logo here okay here you can see this now it's looking nice you can actually make it small or large as per your requirement or as per you look it look good okay so i'm not changing the size let me just change the size of these levels so just click on this okay and Okay, so, so we just need to go to properties, just right click and go to properties and we just change the font of this. So click on this one and increase the font to 16. Yeah, actually it's nice. Now it's look good. You can also increase the font of this. Let me just make it look nice. Okay, so we also need to increase the font of this text box. So let me just increase the size to 12, at least 12. Okay, now start this. And let's see. So here you can see this, that's working. But here you can see this, and when I enter password, it's visible. It should not be clearly visible. It should not be in the plain text. It should be in this star format like this. So how to do that? For that, you just need to click on this text box and go to properties. And in this, you have to search for passcare. And here you have to just enter the star and hit enter. When you start this, now whatever whenever you write anything in this it will be in the text format okay so now the first task is done i will code for this login page 
after we add where you can see this let me just show you when I log in when I log in here you can see this now we have this one so I will show you first how to add this and after that I will show you how this login is but login button is working whenever I click on the login button okay so let me just add this that's a menu script so let me just search for toolbox menu strip just drag and drop it here here you can see this now we have this menu strip in this menu strip we have to add controls one by one okay so let's start adding with the admission so first thing is what admission and then you can you can see this let me just start the second one that the complete project okay so I have here you can see this when I click on this two pop-ups are here and there's two more and there's two more I will show you how to add these okay so let me just go to the video here you can see this admission in admission we have the two controls was there first one is new admission and in the second one we have upgrade semester okay. so now have we have these two and after that you have to add fees and after fees we have to add student details i will show you how to add the images also into this student details and after that in this student detail we have two records that is search student and the second one is individual detail And after that we have teacher okay so let's try teachers in this teacher you have we have actually two records that is add teacher information and search after that we have remove the student and finally about us and at last exit system okay so let me just show you this is start this Okay, it's taking time not to worry sometimes it happens so okay now finally it started here you can see this now we have when I click on this we have all controls here now now we have to add images into this so how to add images let me just show you just click on this go to the borders and search for image here we find this image just click on this and just browse to the location where you have stored the icons I will provide you all images don't you worry about the icons okay I will provide link of these icons into the description once the project is complete okay so here you can see this now we have icons here so which icon is suitable here you can see this now admission okay let me just search for a second so we have okay we have this icon just open this and click on okay here you can see this it's quite very small so how to do this here you can see this image properties image align this middle center so it, uh, if it, this pop up on your display so just don't not to worry just click on this okay it will resolve this problem click once again here you can see this now left align you click click on that 
you have to click on this and after this image scaling is size to fit so we want none just click on none here you can see this now it's large in the same way you have to set for the other buttons too just click on that search for image click on this the source import and the second image is keys so this is keys icon just click on ok the same way change the image scaling to none student detail just go to properties search for image local resources import and you need to just search the student icon click on ok image scaling just set to none here you can see the difference that the text is on the right side okay but here you can see this the text is on the upper side of this uh, image i will show you how to do that just complete this step first so click on teacher go to image select image which scaling is none remove the student click on each local resources remove the student is this i will provide you the link don't you worry about that just stay with me i will teach you everything step by step and your concept will be definitely clear after about us search for image go to image scaling select none after that finally the exit system when you click on this local resources click on import and exit icon just open it size to fit just set none okay so just save it now here you can see this when it now let me just start this first okay now here you can see this now we have this records if you like this in the same way you don't need to do anything but if you want that that text needs to be on the upside then you just need to perform one small step so what is that just select this and just go downward and here you can see this text direction is horizontal but what i need is let me just okay just click on this and text alignment here you can see this middle center but i want that text alignment should be upside and actually this i have changed the image alignment so let me just change this to search for image align middle left actually i want to set this to middle center okay so what's the issue okay so just go downward and we know, we know. okay sorry we don't know need to change this one we need to actually change the text image relation here you can see this image before text image before text i want that text above image just click on this and here you can see this now we have this like text is upside and the image is downside so you have to do for the rest just press the control key and click one by one on each and after that text image relation click on this text above image here you can see this you can also change it to text before image like this or you can change image above text like this okay so i am just keeping its text above image okay so you just save it and just start this and let me just here you can see this now we have this controls and it's working very really fine now i want that when i click on this when this project is start i don't want to see this directly i want to i don't want to see this directly when i log in then i want to see this so how to do that for that first thing when this form loads this menu strip needs to be here so how to do that just double click on this form one to load to generate a load event and here you have to write menu strip one dot visible equals false now go to form one design and just start this and when it load you can see this now menu strip is not available here okay so it's actually looking a bit complicated 
me just change the design. There we go. Okay. So let me just make it stand a bit. Uh, we uh, also we can also add a actually rectangular shaper. So just search for rectangular shaper to make it look nice. Here you can see this. So just drag and drop it here. And now for that, make it large. When you start you can see this rectangle shape okay so now we have to actually generate the click event for this login button so just let me set the login button name is to be dn login try to keep the names which you can easily identify with the name okay so when i see this btn login i can identify that it's a login page login button code okay so now just double click on this and we have this btn login click event so what I need is uh, initially this menu strip is hidden. What I need is when someone enter student and student into this text boxes, I want that this menu strip needs to be visible and this panel needs to be hidden. So how to do that? If suppose first thing, let me just store the value into some variable string username. And in this username, we have to store the username. So from the text box one, that is this one is text box one. Let me just show you the design name. Name is text box one, and this one is text box two. So just text box one dot text into this one, and the string password, and in this you have to store the text box two dot text. And after that we have to compare if that user name is equal to is equal to student and an password is equal to equal student then what we need to do is we want that menu strip needs to be visible. So for that menu strip one dot visible equals true. And in else condition, when suppose if user has entered some wrong user ID and password, then I want to pop up a message. So for that you have to just type message box dot show. In this you have to write error sorry invalid user id or password and the message box name will be error and there needs to be some button in the message box so i want that message box button dot okay just okay that's it and the warning will be image icon needs to be error okay that's it now let me just show you. This is started, and when I click on this, here you can see this invalid user ID or password, and the message box name is error. Just click on OK, and it will revert you here. Okay, so it, now it, here you can see this. This is a rectangular shape, and when I enter this student and and I click on login, now this one is visible, but this panel is not invisible. I want that this panel needs to be hidden. Okay, so how to do that? For that, you have to just write here panel one dot visible is equals false. And now let's start this and see the magic. Student, click on this. Here you can see this now. Everything is now panel is invisible and this menu strip is visible okay that's it for the today's video in the next video i'm going to show you how to code for this new admission let me just show you from the complete project here you can see this this is the complete project the next video i'm going to show you when i click on this new admission how this is coming and how 
this data is coming from the database and how to design these stuff everything so stay tuned and please hit the subscribe button and if you like the video also like and share with your friends thanks for watching